Hey there, YouTubers. This is Kathy Stevenson at Living Miracle Homestead. It's nice to be here with you tonight. Um, I had a friend stop by today, and I was able to share some of my lychee nuts with her and show her some of the plants that she had given to me. She gave me um, three uh, frangy pangy plumeria, whatever you want to call them, trees. And um, they've grown from really little to really big. Um, so I got to show and share those with her. Um, but uh, I, I enjoy, you know, sharing my fruit with, with my friends and, and my family and so on and so forth. So um, I had some unforeseen things happen, though. Uh, when I was moseying through the yard, checking out different things, my dragon fruit, all of the flowers have fallen off. And, you know, stuff happens. Homestead, you never know. You know, you're growing, growing things and you, and you deal with what you got. So anyways... Um, I did find a nice little, um, uh, uh, blessing though. Um, my miracle fruit, it literally has blooms that are in bud stage right now. And I'm hoping to catch that on video tomorrow and put some together of of the different stages throughout but it is gorgeous I was able to share um, a Barbados cherries with her today too um, I don't think she's ever had them I think she said she would never had them um, <clears throat> but it was just a really nice visit it was quick but you know um, we don't get to see each other very often. She lives in a different state now. So every time I get to see her, it's exciting. But um, I, I like sharing things with people. So uh, I'm going to share my lychees with you tonight. Show you what they look like inside. And here we go. Hey, guys. These are the fruits that we got off the tree. Um... And I'm going to, I'm going to peel one and show you what it's like inside. So let's take this one. I'll set these over here. Um, they, they have like this little thing right here. That's where they were connected onto the tree. And I use that to start my peeling process. Um, they're pretty hard to start sometimes, but as you can tell, they're like a little paper, um, Peeling and see they have the pap the thing and then you want to get this little membrane it's kind of like an egg you know how it's got that little membrane uh, between the skin and uh, the fruit I actually peel that off too and you can see how thin that is um, they really, really are quite juicy. Um, trying to think if I have anything I can. Yeah, I think I can do that. And you can hear the suction that they've they've got on here. This uh, peeling is quite quite neat. Um, so this is what the fruit looks like, and um, let me get this little tail in here so it doesn't get on my computer. Okay, so if you peel this off, see it? It has a fleshy stuff, and you just eat that, and then you're left with this great big huge brown seed. So that's the way it is. And um, 
when there's just a little bit green, they have just a little bit of soury type taste in them. Really good taste, though. Um, they're one of my favorite fruits. That's why I planted it. And um, um, I was hoping to find a uh, canning recipe. So um, I went online and everything and couldn't find anything online. And, and uh, they told me it was um, uh, not safe to can them because of their pH and everything. But I uh, went to my extension agent, and I have a friend that works there, and I asked her to find out for me. So she spoke with the person that um, knows all about canning there and everything. I don't know what her quote title is, but um, um, my friend wouldn't wouldn't steer me wrong. So she talked to her, and she also looked it up too, and she couldn't find anything online either. So um, I guess you can't can them, but um, I am going to try to to dehydrate some and see how that goes, and see if they're if they have a good flavor when they're dehydrated. Um, but for now, I'm going to eat them. And I am going to try to freeze some with their skins on. Like you do, you know, you can freeze corn uh, and leave the shucks on. And it's just as delicious if you, um, as if you just got it almost. I mean, it, it, there's not much flavor change uh, in my eyes from what I've tried. So, um... I am going to try that, and I'll let you know how that comes about. Um, so, until next time, this is Kathy Stevenson, and I hope that you uh, share my video and like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.